This is Terrell Pauley with LearnHealthCareIT.com. So what I want to talk to you um, next about is what is a what is a PAX? What is what, what is a PAX? What does PAX stand for? So PAX, which is a P A C S. So PAX is a which stands for is an acronym that stands for Picture Archiving Communications System. Okay, pictures are picture archiving communication system, and so, so basically within the healthcare IT space, a PAX is kind of pretty much like what it sounds like. Um, it stores pictures, which are uh, medical images uh, that are, uh, which you get medical images that are taken from when you go and get your, uh, the hospital, say for instance, and you get an X-ray or you get a MRI scan done, or you get a, you know, uh, uh, X-ray of your elbow because you um, bruise your elbow. You, you go to the hospital or you go to an imaging center and you get a scan done and they and the scan produces these uh produces uh, digital images and uh so these so the pictures in this case are actually um the you know the digital images so 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 pictures uh picture archiving um archiving comes into play because uh, that's what you're actually doing when you're actually sending the images the digital images that you um, have uh, received from your uh, from your scan from your from your X-ray scan. Um, there, there, these images are being archived into the packs into the packs. So, um, and that's where the archiving comes into play. The archiving term. Now, the the next term is uh, um, communications, and communication comes into play for, from uh, the point of view of with PAC systems, you have the ability to be able to communicate uh, the actual images that have been stored in the PACs to be able to send them out to different uh, devices, different DICOM devices, different uh, um, healthcare IT systems or medical IT systems. Uh, so that's where the communications come into play. And then system is, you know, that's what it, that's what the, Pax it is, it is, it's actual system. So picture, so Pax, P-A-C-S, picture archiving communications system. So uh, that's what the actual acronym stands for, for, for Pax. So now, and so you have a kind of an idea. So a Pax, you're able to, um, the pretty much the purpose, the, the, um, the standard purpose of a Pax system is to store you know, receive images, store, forward, manipulate, uh, and display DICOM, uh, display medical images or DICOM images, which I'll talk about in the later, uh, what DICOM means in the later video. But, um, so that's the pretty much the purpose of a PAX. Uh, it allows you to receive, store, forward, manipulate, uh, and display medical images. So, that is a purpose of a PAX, and I hope that this was helpful to you. Um, if you are actually curious or interested about um, um, uh, ways on how to get started within the uh, PAX administration, I have a free, um, I have a free, um, I have a free tutorial that um, that lists the, the free ten steps, ten short five steps on how to get started within a PAX administration. You can actually go over to uh, newpaxadmin.com. That's new, N-E-W, paxadmin.com. And you'll, uh, it's just a free, um, um, free list, uh, my free uh, 10 short five steps on how to get started within PAX administration. So I hope this was, was helpful. And my name is Terrell Pauley. Talk to you next time. Take care.